Here's two cool science projects you can do at home with ordinary household items. Hey everybody, Super Brittany here. Check out this cool trick you can do with a little bit of food coloring and a little bit of milk. It's just like magic. <laughs> and this is just ordinary food coloring that you get at the store. Just put a few drops here and there. And when you get ready, we're going to have some magic. I heard you could make kaleidoscope colors like this. But believe it or not, this is the first time we've ever tried this trick too. And now the secret ingredient. Ordinary liquid dish detergent. A little drop here and POW! Instant kaleidoscope, man. That is so cool. You believe that? Well, that's fun playing with your food. Huh. That really works. That is so cool. Okay, what we got here is an ordinary dinner plate. A little bit of milk poured on top of it. Got some food coloring. This is just regular old food coloring that you get at the store. Put a few drops here and there over the top of it. Now here's the magic ingredient again, hot soapy water. This is dishwashing detergent, a few drops of hot water. Pretty cool kaleidoscope effect. Wow. If you don't have any toothpicks, use some uncooked pieces of spaghetti. Well, that was pretty cool. And you must think the party's over, but uh-uh. Check this out. You can do it again. Just a quick touch of the toothpick, a little bit of that soapy water. Pow! Oh, that is so cool! Here's the magic ingredient again, toothpick, and some soapy water. This is just regular dishwashing detergent, and it's mixed with a few spoonfuls of hot water. Just keep doing it again and again and again. Just dip the toothpick in the soapy water, and pow! Oh, that is so cool. Man, how cool is that? Wow, playing with your food. Never knew it was this fun. Just keep dipping your toothpick or piece of spaghetti into the soapy water, and voila! More kaleidoscope. Wow, that's incredible all the colors. Just a quick dip and pow. Stupendous. That is so cool. Wow, it's like an endless kaleidoscope. We're not sure how many times you can do this, but we've got a cool thing you can do with it once it's like all used up and all muddy brown. I'm going to show that to you at the end of this video. Get ready to check it out. Wow, that's cool. Okay, what you need for this trick is four birthday candles, a small bowl, and an old pretzel jar. I'm going to put this pretzel jar over these lit candles in the bowl. Wow, the bowl is floating on the milk, and so is the pretzel jar. Wow. I know it looks impossible, but the theory behind this is the candles will use up all the oxygen in the air and then the vacuum will suck up all the milk into the jar. Huh, let's see. Candles are gone out. Well, I'll be darned. Look, there it goes. Right up into the jar. It sucked it right down on there, pal. That's amazing. Look, it's still sucking it up. It's got a vacuum going in there for sure. That bowl's starting to float in there. It's got almost every bit of the liquid up. There goes the milk. Wow. It's incredible how much suction that thing's got. Man, that thing really sucks. It's like as bad as like a day at school when it's nice and sunny out. <laughs> and remember kids, don't try this at home without a confident adult. Sorry, great grandpa. <laughs> Hey, I'm just clapping because it's over. <laughs>